How's it going, YouTube? This is Skull, and today I will be performing a bit of an experiment. So, as many of you know, I am a huge fan of the Nintendo Switch. I love the games, I love the library, I have 350 physical games. But here's the thing. Not every single one of those games works flawlessly. There are quite a few games that you can plop the cartridge in your Switch, but you're required to download an update patch before you can get it to work. So today I thought that I would do uh, an experiment, a uh, hands-on experiment for you guys. So <laughs> that would explain my crazy setup here. Uh, anyway, so the game I will be testing today is NBA 2K18. And as you can see on the top of the, uh, of the box art here, it says internet download and micro SD card required to play the game. And if you check the back, it says that you are required to have at least 24 gigabytes of free space before the game will even turn on. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys what would happen if, say, 30 years in the future, when all the Switch servers have gone down, what if somebody way in the future, for some stupid reason, were to pick up NBA 2K18 for the Switch. How would they play this? Well, that's what the purpose of this video is for. So these are the two Nintendo Switches I will be using for this experiment. This one is my main Nintendo Switch. I've had this since launch day. This is where I keep all of my games that I play. Uh, it has a 400 gigabyte micro SD card inside of it, and that's almost full at this point. I really hope one terabyte cards go down in price someday. And this is my second Switch that I will be using today. This is my Pokemon Let's Go themed Nintendo Switch. I have used this sparingly. Um, there's not many games on it, and I'll go ahead and put them both on screen here so I can show you guys what's going on. Uh, but when you're watching my camera here, just remember, the Switch that I will be performing this experiment on is the Let's Go theme Switch, and my main Switch is the one on the far left of the video image. So I am on the Let's Go theme Switch right now, and I'm just going to browse here on the menu so you guys can see the entire library. That's it. Those few games, that's all that has ever been on the Switch. I have never put another cartridge into this console whatsoever. If we were to go, uh, there, there's not even an option to show all software. What is here on the screen is all that exists on this Switch. So, rest assured, NBA 2K18 has never been played on this. And to prove that when I pop the cartridge in, there's no funny business going on, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on airplane mode. Okay, if you look at the top right of the screen, you can see that the Switch is now in airplane mode. Which means if I were to plop this game into the Switch right now, it should pop up for sure, but it should not be playable in the least. And I'm struggling a little bit here, bear with me. And as you can see, it did pop up. But when I try and actually play it, Let's just uh, start the software without the system update. I, I forgot to do the system update before this, but that shouldn't affect it. New download is available. Okay. Let's go ahead and try and download it. But we need to turn off airplane mode. So here's the problem. In the future, the Switch will no longer be able to connect to the Switch servers in order to download the patch to play this game. So you're going to be stuck in this infinite loop forever. So that is where we currently sit. I have NBA 2K18, but I cannot play it on this Switch of mine. Now let's go ahead and check out my other Switch here. Uh, if we go and look at all software, I've already pre-sorted it so that we can look by title. And if we go down to the ends, you can see I do have NBA 2K19 installed on this, but not 18. I did actually have 18 pre-installed at that one point, but I deleted it for the sake of this video. So, um, this, this switch here is connected to the internet, so, theoretically, if we just plop this switch cartridge into this switch now, taking out the cartridge that's already in there, I was playing Animal Crossing earlier. Um, now we should be able to, um, download the patch. 
because I am connected to the internet. Now, this patch, saying from uh, previous experience, will take a very, very, very long time to download, so I will uh, not bore you, just skip ahead to when it is finished. Okay, it has now been over two hours, um, but the download is finally done, and now, as you can see, if we were to hop into NBA 2K18, it needed to take a second to prepare the software there. That's just to make sure that all the data is there, the patch, the updates, all that stuff. Just to make sure it's there so that the game can run, and as you can see, it is running just fine. We got all the warnings there on the um, stuff. Oh my god, my friends list, of course, uh, friend requests, whatever. Friends online. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the game is running perfectly fine, and I won't, bo I won't bore you guys. Um... Where you guys need to download some game updates. I don't. I don't want to really sit here for that. The point is, as you can see, the game works. So I really don't want to sit here for any longer. You can see on the other switch that the time is currently 12:30 in the morning. Oh man. So here finally is what I wanted to demonstrate to all of you. If we take the cartridge out of the switch and move it back into this one. We are now given the option, if we press the plus button, to um, go to software update and what we want to do is we want to match version with local users. So we do that and we get the uh, message here, you can make a group, just keep hitting next. Um, needs to turn off airplane mode, that's annoying. Okay, I had to turn off airplane mode, it wouldn't let me do it otherwise, but we can still match to the local version. This will not be getting the update via the internet, this will be matching with local users, so the demonstration is still the same. If you really think that the Wi-Fi has something to do with this, I apologize, wish that I could help, wish I could convince you otherwise, but that's okay. Um, so what we want to do is create a group, on this screen, and what we want to do now is go to the other switch, and uh, we will want to do the same on here. So now we'll want to join a group on the first switch, and we can see right there, Jack's switch, that is there, and we're all done. So now we go back to the Let's Go switch and start communication. And with that, as you can see, our first switch that we have the patch on is now sending that patch to the Let's Go switch. And I frankly have no idea how long this will take. It could be two hours, it could be 20 minutes, it could be all night. Hope it's not all night. Uh, currently it's saying that it'll take about an hour to send that data. Actually, it's going down pretty quickly. Um, which leads me to believe that local Wi-Fi bandwidth is actually a lot, uh, a lot more available than internet Wi-Fi for the Switch. So, yeah, that looks pretty steady. So, um, I, I, I should probably clarify that my internet here, I am using Wi-Fi, but I have ridiculously fast internet. I did a speed test on both of these before I started recording, and I think both of them came out to like 30 megabytes a second, which is really good for Wi-Fi. So, this is taking about half that time. So, regardless, I think the point in this is to say that um, when you transfer data uh, from one switch to another for game patches, expect it to be a fairly quick process. I mean, this is a almost 25 gigabyte patch that I'm transferring, but it's still going to take less than an hour. In fact, as you can see, we've made some significant progress already. It's already down to 56 minutes. So I'm going to just leave these um, as they are and come back in an hour and see if the patch is completely done. And uh, when, um, when I am done sending the patch over from one switch to the other, I will turn back on airplane mode on this one and try to launch the game and 
just make sure that it all works completely correctly. So, cut the video right here. Be back in a second for you. An hour for me. All right, it's done. So, um, I believe that means that the first switch's job is completely done. Let's just go ahead and verify that it is exactly as it should be. So, uh, like I said, we want to make sure that the internet is turned off on this, which unfortunately means I'm going to have to take it out of its dock here to do so. Okay, it is back in sleep mode, and that means that it is not connected to the internet in any way, shape, or form. All that is on here is the cartridge and the patch that was received from the first switch. Let's see if it lets us go in. Ignore the software up, uh, ignore the system update once again. I'm pretty sure that we can at least boot this up without the need for that. So, preparing software, there we go. We're in. So, I'm pretty sure that this will end the demonstration. Yeah. So it looks like I was correct. We can... Okay, we... we... <laughs> Surely you can play NBA with, with without any need for internet, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure this uh, ends my demonstration, my experiment. So let this be a, a lesson to you. If you do not have internet access, but you somehow have access to a second switch with all of the patches for a game completely on it already, then you can receive the patches from that switch. And... Uh, you don't need to be connected to the internet, in fact, you receive these patches a little faster than if you were to download it yourself, so that that was actually a part of this experiment that I did not anticipate. Uh, anyway, like I said, what are the odds that somebody will actually want to play NBA 2K18 30 years from now? Probably not that high, but th this is just proof of concept to show that you can share patches between two switches. So I uh, hope that you all enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, and I've got to put away all of this wires and, and stuff that I have out here because, oh man, this is a lot.